So, my name's Joe, and about a year and a half ago, I quit my job in advertising, so I have more time to do stand-up comedy. Thank you for the applause. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> now, I, I told my parents I got the exact same silence. <laughs> they were like, have you forgotten that you're Asian? <laughs> because Asian people are not funny people. We are doctors, lawyers, dentists. Maybe we know this, maybe innately we know we're not funny, that's why we choose to be doctors, lawyers, and dentists. It's like we all got together and we asked ourselves, where is there no laughter? <laughs> yeah, let's do that, that sounds fun. And I'm like, Dad, but Dad, my dream, my dream is to be a stand-up comic. He's like, dreams? Dreams are for white people. <laughs> maybe I could have compromised being a lawyer, but a funny lawyer be in the courtroom and say things like, what's the deal with armed robbery? <laughs> because everyone who commits robberies has arms, but not everyone who has arms commits robberies. <laughs> <laughs> and then the jury would be like, ha, 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 ha. <laughs> we find the defendant not guilty and the defendant's lawyer hilarious. <laughs> I don't know if your, your parents are like mine, or maybe you are the parent, but my parents don't know anything about technology. Like, they'll organize all the technology they know into different drawers in case they might need it one day. I once opened the drawer, I found 15 different remote controls. 15 different remote controls and one calculator. <laughs> like, they can't tell the difference between a remote control and a calculator. <laughs> Sometimes I expect to come home and see my mom holding a calculator to her head, being like, hello, is anyone there? I can't hear you. And I'll be like, Mom, that's not how you use it. Press CE to hang up, and now press the numbers again. Uh, recently, my mom asked me uh, how she could look at her internet history so she could visit websites that she's looked at before. And I taught her. She learned everything was great. A couple weeks later, my dad asked me how he can hide the websites that he visits. <laughs> A couple weeks after that, my mom asked me, how do you know if someone's trying to hide the websites that they visit? <laughs> so, uh, I I'm an immigrant, that means my parents have done a lot for me, like more than I could ever do for them. And it's always hard complaining to immigrant parents because your problems sound so trivial. You know, I'll, I'll be like, Dad, my internet, it's the worst. Sometimes I get disconnected, I'll lose the poker hand I'm playing. He's like, yeah, son, that does sound like the worst. <laughs> that reminds me of the time I had to sew jewelry into your mom's armpit so we could have something to bargain with for our lives as we were escaping Vietnam on a boat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay, you win this one, Dad. <laughs> or he'll be like, why don't you visit me more often? And I'm like, Dad, did you look at the weather report? There's supposed to be like a 40% chance of snow. I can't risk that. He's like, you're right, son, that does sound too risky. That risk? It reminds me of the time I had to risk a 40% chance of dying to pirates, storm, starvation. But we don't want you to risk snow. <laughs> and like, these are the sacrifices my parents made, the risks they took so I could live in Canada and repay them by being a stand-up comedian. 